Aha, me hearties, dinky do, it's just me, Scotty McClue. A very, very warm welcome to our Sunday morning pop up. Time just coming up to 11 o'clock on Sunday morning in the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. And I thought I'll say hi to everybody on TikTok sometime since we popped up. I think last night was the last one. And of course, we had the phone in last night, which is massive. Everybody is right into the Scotty McClue phone in. If you want to join us and actually phone in, then you would be on Twitch or you would be on YouTube. You'll see the URL in front of you or on Facebook. That's where most of the people are phoning in. But we like to bring the TikTokers on as well. I think that's very, very important. So if you're scrolling, uh, never troll, remember, just come and join us and be part of TikTok's top talk show. That's what it's all about. A very good morning to all of you. Lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Do from Scotty McClue. How good is this? Welcome, welcome, welcome. As I say, Sunday morning, nothing ever gets past me. <laughs> Fantastic stuff. So there we are. Good morning. Thank you, Nick, for all your lovely likes. Good morning, says Ely. Good morning, Ely. Lovely to have you with us and a big dinky do. Everybody get tap, 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 tap a day on that screen and get the likes in here. Thank you very much to Nick and to Steve. Steve Goldie, dinky do. Lovely to have you with us, of course. Welcome, welcome. Morning. Morning, everybody. There we are. I think I can do some tapping as well, somebody was saying. And let's see what actually happens there. There's a bit of tapping from me. <laughs> How lovely is that? Fantastic. Thank you for sending all these likes. Wonderful stuff. We like that. There's 245 likes. Now, the last time I did a live on a Sunday morning at this time, we ended up with 10,000 likes right away. So also follow me. If you haven't followed Scotty McClue, please get following. because so we need to get these followers up. Big star. What are you up to today, R. Ely? A day of domesticity. So much to do, but uh, we'll also be adding LinkedIn to the phone in. So that's rather good as well. So that's another platform coming and joining us on the phone in. And there will be many more, no doubt. So wonderful stuff. So if you're a fan of Scotty McClue, then uh, get on to the YouTube channel. You'll see the URL in front of you. And uh, if you can subscribe, that would be tremendous. Uh, so there we go. Scotty boy, Ryan boy, how are you this morning? Did you do? I say, lovely to have you with us. I hope you all enjoyed the phone in last night. And uh, I've sent you some new TikTok videos. Just random stuff, because that's where the fun is. A wee joke, something serious, something interesting, you know, uh, that sort of idea. Uh, fantastic. Something borrowed, something, no, we'll not go there. Right, there we are. Fantastic stuff. Thank you, do. Lovely to have you with us. And thank you so much for joining us on a Sunday morning, because this is where it happens. You know, you'll get the dafties scrolling past because they don't understand exactly what they're watching. So there you are. So it does take a while because you're dealing uh, sometimes with highly, highly intelligent people, i.e. your good selves. Other times you're dealing with just some immature wee troll and they have to go doing the swanny. Uh, how are we? We're absolutely amazing today, Ryan. Fantastic. Thank you for joining us. All good stuff, I say. There's um, Baking has just joined us. We love that. And Jerry, Jerry has joined us as well. Always good. Extra grist to the mill. I wonder where that one came from, grist to the mill. Always very interested in all these sayings. Like, have you heard somebody say, I think he was carrying the can? What carrying the can actually means is in the days when the miners used to go down the mine and take the dynamite with them for blasting. And uh, it was in a can. And obviously dynamite can be unstable. So uh, the person that was carrying it was carrying the can. Are you with me? How good is that? Follow us as soon as you come on, guys. Big style. Lots to talk about. So little time to do it in. And we do need to be pressing on as quickly as possible, I say. 
So lots of tap, tap, tapity tap. Lots of following as soon as you come on. There we are. Excellent stuff. That's what it's all about. Wonderful. I think I probably told you about the time I went to the doctors and I said, I have a problem. I think I might be obsessed with the hooky cookie. And they said to me, yes, I think you are. I'm going to admit you to a clinic. So I put my whole self in and I took my whole self out and I've turned myself around. And that's what it's all about, you see. There we are, Scottish independence. Yeah, but I'll tell you something about Scottish independence. They'll not be getting it if they don't ensure the future of the monarchy is 100% secure. If there's any mucking about with the crown, independence will be kicked straight into the long grass. So that's the rock they'll perish on. It's happened before, it'll happen again. And politicians very rarely learn from history. I don't think they read their history books, as a famous soldier once said about the campaign in Aden. Do you prefer hearts or Hibernian? Well, I think my best advice to you, Kieran, is to go and see them both play and then just make up your mind. They're both excellent teams, you know. Wonderful. Uh, don't say that or watch what's going to happen. Yes, there we are. No, Jimmy, I'm just telling you straight. You'll always get the truth from a clue. Fantastic. That's what's about. So, I mean, we'll watch it happen and I'll sit back and, uh, you know, I won't want to say, I'll take no pleasure in saying, I told you so, but that will be the case, I am afraid. They're Borada from Wales, my friend. I love Spooner. Borada, I say to you, are you going out to chapel this morning? Are you going to sing in your fine tenor or baritone or bass voice? Cum ronda. That's what I think. Okay, it's just a prank, my friend. No, you can prank as much as you like, but the truth is, you know, there's the wonderful I am still sending me TikToks. I am still. You are a very, very generous man, and I thank you. Very, very kind of you. Every single TikToker is just an amazing person. You know, there are one or two wee trolls. You'll always get that. Thank you so much. I am still has just sent me 66 TikToks. Fantastic. I thank you so much. I am still, I don't know if you're able to join us on the new Scotty McClue phone-in. We've included TikTok in it. And it's a very, very successful program. It's only been going a couple of weeks, you know, but it's just huge. So there you are. So do look at that. I like Hibs of Midlothian and Hearts of Hibernian. Stevie Goldie, very good. There's two new teams I've never, ever heard of. Are they like the big ones? Yes, are they like the Hearts of Midlothian and the Hibs? There we are. Would love the info. Oh, I am still. You'll absolutely love it. It's the phone in. And uh, have a look at it. Go on to the YouTube channel, I am still. You'll see the URL in front of you. Subscribe and tap the bell to receive notifications. And, uh, you know, you'll just never look back. It's a phone in program. The number should be free. I'll just check. International, no problem at all. Uh, so there we are, tremendous stuff. So if you haven't seen or heard the Scotty McClue phone in, you can watch it across the internet. And we'll be being joined by LinkedIn this week. Greg, you think you do? A very warm welcome. If you've just joined me, you're watching Scotty McClue. Never ever scroll past. You miss a moment of McClue. You miss a moment of life. And we don't want that again. Us doing a duel was a highlight. I am still. It was a huge highlight. And did you do, I say, it was lovely to talk to you. And thank you again for all your support and for your kindness. There we are. And uh, I've done a couple of videos uh, for the 20th anniversary of 9-11. And you can see these on the TikTok videos. So get watching all of that. Where are you based? We're based in Scotland, Jerry. Scotland, absolutely, in the north of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. So there we are. Who knows? Ever play World of Warcraft? I don't, but I am on Twitch. If you're on Twitch, Scotty, 
underscore McClue. Get yourselves onto that Scotty underscore McClue and follow me on Twitch Big Style. We've only started recently on Twitch. I opened the account maybe a couple of years ago. Haven't done a thing with it till last week. And now we've got, I think, about 60 followers just like that. There we are, on the way to 10K. Any advice? Yes, just enjoy being you. I am still, and I would like to hope that a little pop-up with McClue has helped. That's the thing, but just enjoy being you. Uh, so there we go. Uh, who have we got? Uh, Dark Knight still don't believe they knew nothing about it. Know what you mean, yes, indeed. Uh, fantastic stuff. What games do you play on Twitch? I don't play games. I do the uh, phone in on just chatting. And, uh, you know, it takes a wee while, but I'm just about to become an affiliate after about two weeks. So that's not bad, is it? Hello, Kamraha U, Kamraha Uji. Lovely to have you with us, Maha. Falchi, Falchi, Ki, Damili Falchi, Dun TikTok. I guess Scotchak McClue. There we go. Almost 8K will tackle 10K soon. I am still. It will just come. Deliver your own stuff. Don't change. Don't listen to people that tell you your show's a lot of nonsense. Just be you. It will work a treat. Everybody doubted me when I went on TikTok. They said, TikTok? Can't see anybody following you. Well, we're 17,000 followers. Should be 170,000, but no doubt people will smarten up and start following when they realize how big this is going to be. There we are. Watch your Edinburgh Derby predictions. John, you know fine and well, if I was to give you the score right now, the television companies would not be happy with McClue. And we don't want to upset them. It's highly unlikely, but we might need them someday. I might wish to go back to television. There we are. Fantastic. <laughs> Thank you, G. Grizzly. Yes, indeed. And as I say, um, good day to you. There we are. Uh, refuse to go live until 10K. Been six months doing the solo live. There we are. Uh, want a base. Excellent. Refuse to go live until 10K. Have you not been live? I am still. What's your big attraction? There's a uh, J saying, God bless the Pope. God bless his holiness, the Pope, indeed. And God save the Queen, I say. Very important. Uh, God save all of our world leaders. Yes, indeed. For some reason, I thought you could speak Gaelic. I don't know where you got that from. There we are. Uh, my content, which is how it should be. Yes, indeed, I am still. So you're just supposed to your content. You haven't gone live. Well, I think you should look at that as well. Fantastic. I think that would bring up your numbers very, very quickly indeed. We've got to go live, yes. Now, you know, and you, you can go live. You've got confidence, and you were very good when you came on to me. There we are, when we chatted. Hi, Scotty. Dinky-doo. Dinky-doo to you. Ruby. Ruby, lovely to have you with us and a very warm welcome this Sunday morning. How amazing is that? Make them wanting more. As my father said, my late father was a very fine violinist and a Scottish fiddler, as we called it. He played the fiddle, the other name for the violin, because the fiddle is the original instrument of Scotland. And uh, my father used to do that. And uh, he was about to give them another encore because they would not stop clapping and cheering and stamping their feet. And an old boy pulled him back and said, leave them wanting, son. And I thought, how amazing that. My father passed that on to me. Scotty, you're quite the controversial character. Very, very, very controversial. Only because I speak the truth. Not everybody likes that. Bring back the mumbling pants. Absolutely. Exactly as I am still. Leave them wanting for more. And your content, excellent. But uh, I'm sure they would enjoy a quick live. So you should try that. Uh, you know, just, just give it a go. Do what I'm doing. 
uh, you know, it's as easy as pie and uh, let everybody know what's happening. Fantastic. Follow us as soon as you come on, guys. We must get the followers up. People are a little bit lazy at following. And can everybody be tapping their screen as if it was going out? Morning, lad. Thoughts on shortwave radio? Well, Barry, it depends on what you want to do with the radio. Shortwave is very powerful. It's just building up a big audience for it. Uh, but, I mean, my thoughts on shortwave radio, as they are on medium wave, long wave, and, of course, FM radio, outstanding because it's communication, people talking to people. Scotty, apparently your net worth is between 1 million and 7 million. Yes, that's 1 million seconds and 7 million seconds. There we go. Fantastic. Uh, live is coming for sure. Thank you for all your support. Not at all, I am still. I just know you would enjoy it. So just pop up for, I don't know, 20 minutes, half an hour, bit of a chat with the world, and um, people will come and join you because you are the genuine article, you see. There we are, and you've got something to say. Scotty, it's me, MSM. I changed my name. Unknown, why did you change your name from MSM? We love having you on here, MSM. Dinky do. Can they handle me as I am still? Well, that remains to be seen. That's up to them because you will be doing what you do. If they can't handle it, they'll let you know because they'll either not reward you with their listenership or they'll be fascinated and stay with you. There we are. It's huge. Are you for Scottish independence? Um, I believe economically. Scotland would do much better out of Westminster's grip, vice-like grip for 330 years, because the union was built on sand. It's a very, very poor union. But I heard rumours that the nationalists and the Greens might not be as pro-monarchy as Scotland would like. Now, if that's the case, they've bitten off more than they can chew and independence will be booted into the long grass for a long, long time. So the nationalists and the Greens need to look at the history of their own movements and see when they've been accepted and see when they've been rejected. You know, and there's also talk of the new Alpa party becoming a force, uh, you know, a big force. What's going on here, breakfast? Uh, hello, Scotty. Keep the live streams going. Jimmy, I think so. And also, have you joined the new phone-in, Jimmy? The phone-ins are massive because people can phone in. Square sausage on links. Uh, both, Jerry, what I would do is pop in a square and a couple of links and maybe an egg, maybe a wee bit black pudding, maybe a tatty scone, that sort of thing. See what you think, I say. Fantastic. If you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching TikTok's Top Talk Show with me, Scotty McClue. This is big. Now, it's going to get bigger and bigger, guys. So get following because those who don't follow will be left out. You'll not get your notifications. Yes. Have you ever been in trouble with the law, Scotty? Never. Never, ever, ever. Very, very, very respectful. At once, I was accused wrongly of running a red light, and I had to take the police to court and get it proven, which was a nuisance, but I just knew I was not in the wrong, and it was a very young constable, very wet behind the ears, and instead of backing down, he kept going, and I thought, Son, all the respect in the world to our police, but if you keep pushing that, you know, um, then, uh, you know, you're just not happening. And he did say, as he handed me the ticket, he said, there is a space on the back to complain. I said, well, rest assured, I shall be complaining, you know, but it's all very, very polite. Never, ever, ever cheek up to the police because they are the representatives of the crown, which is our symbol of authority. Fantastic. Uh, Scotty, what's your thoughts? Well, what I'll do, we don't discuss the pandemic because your mainstream media will do that. 
what did the police do, Scotty? Well, they had to go to court, and um, the lawyer had to just say to them, you know, and of course, they 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 had to cave in quite quickly because I knew they didn't have the evidence. So there you are. Uh, what do you think of police corruption? Do you agree it's widespread? We don't know top of the morning until anything is proven. I get very annoyed at people on social media saying things that are just simply not true. Uh, you know, that sort of stuff. These things have to be proven in a court of law. What's your favourite tipple? My favourite tipple is Scottish water. I'll just have a sip of my favourite tipple right now. Ah, now here's a, who have we got here? Alan McDuck says, I just joined. Alan McDuck, you're very, very welcome. Lots of people join Scotty McClue all the time. Get following. So there we are. Now, what have we got here? Would you agree the copper who tried to do you for the light was corrupt? Uh, no, he was just wrong, uh, unfortunately. And as I say, he was very young and he was very wet behind the ears and he couldn't summon up. His colleague just went away out the road and got back in the car. His colleague was having nothing to do with it. And when it came to court, when his colleague was called, he said, I didn't see anything and just left the other one in it. You know what I mean? Because uh, they knew it was uh, it was a nonsense. And what will have grown now, maybe I was able to help with the young policeman's development, because what will have grown now is if he's not sure of something, he'll say, well, on this occasion, I'm just going to advise you. You know, that stuff. As far as I was concerned, I thought you had run the light. But I can't prove it, so on this occasion, I'm just going to warn you to be careful. Yes, thank you. Good night, sir. You know, that sort of stuff. Scotty, I've added you to a read about the monarchy on Facebook. Please read. Kareem, I shall read. Absolutely. I was very shocked about uh, some things I'm hearing about people cheeking up to the monarchy. You know, remember... It's not even to do with the incumbents. Her Majesty the Queen is an outstanding public servant and an outstanding monarch. So that's never, ever, ever been in doubt. Uh, but it's not even about the incumbents because the job of the monarch, if you like, the principal task of the monarch is as the curator and custodian of the crown and all it stands for. All it represents. So there you are. And the crown is our symbol of authority. Kareem, I will certainly be having a look at that. And Kareem, a very good morning to you. And thank you for your fabulous contributions to the Scotty McClue phone-in. Everybody, make sure the phone-in has started after many, many years and a lot of saving up the pennies. So if anybody's feeling flush and they can spare a few TikToks, please dump them right in here because it allows me to buy little bits of equipment to improve the phone-in. There is also a PayPal and a GoFundMe and all these things, but I don't like Scotty McClue accepts applause or derision on his merits. Always have done. So never, ever, ever feel obliged to give Scotty McClue a thing. I did a 9-11 uh, post. I hope you view it. It would be an honor. Uh, yes, I shall. I am still. It's an honor and a privilege to have you with us. There we go. Scotty, I have a video of the old listen shops. Have a look and see. I will we Mrs. Women. Dinky do, I say to you. Can everybody look in front of them at my bio on TikTok? Just below it, you'll see the link to the YouTube channel. Use it well and wisely. Go and subscribe and tap the bell, tap the old dinky do, because the phone in will grow very quickly and you need to be part of it. Scotty, I can't believe Roy Chubby Brown's being silenced by the cancel culture now. Ty Talk, I thought that was shocking. 
Roy is in his early 70s. He's been, his career must be 40, 50 years. He's an absolute gent and a top, top performer. Now, if you don't like his material, you don't have to watch and you don't have to go. But once we start cancelling people, public figures, very well-known public figures, very highly respected public figures, once we start cancelling them for political reasons, whether it's a small P or a big P, think about, was it, who was it that said they came for these, they came for these, and then they came for me? Yeah. So when you get politics saying, no, no, I'll make a decision. We're not having that person because it's public money. Look at the box office. We've just come through a pandemic, for goodness sake. And I believe just around 30,000 people in Sheffield, where Scotty McClue is known by everyone. Yeah, Sheffield. Many years of serving the people of Sheffield, giving them information, education, and light entertainment at nights on the radio. And in a place like Sheffield, big working class population who like a bit of body humor. However, what it has done in Chubby's favor is it has brought it to the attention of the world. And, uh, you know, he will be now down in history with the great comedians who were slightly risque, like Max Miller and Bernard Manning and people like that. Yes, indeed. So that's what I'm thinking. So I was shocked at the council culture because the people will vote and every council needs every theatre and venue to pay its way after the pandemic. And if you get a big act like Roy Chubby Brown, then you should be cherishing that. The people will decide if they go or if they don't, you know? So there you are. And I would imagine Roy will be very upset by that. So there we are. Uh, would, wouldn't you agree that corruption, why didn't the other copper tell the truth, covering for his pal? No, no, in fairness to the other copper, he bailed out. He got back in the car. The two of them were standing. This was 2.30 in the morning. Yes, and they were there watching somewhere else. So they were looking another way. And there were two sets of lights to go through. Yeah, and they'd seen the other set of lights because the two lights for the different roads where the road divided were side by side. So these were the lights for that. Sorry, these were the lights for that side. These were the lights for that side. So I think what the police had been doing, they'd been looking at the wrong light. There we are. Excellent. So that's what was going on there. Scotty, I've added you to a read. Oh, yes, absolutely. I'll read that, Kareem. Morning. Good morning. Have a nice day. GM. GM <coughs> underscore Sierra. Uh, so there you are. Uh, Alan McDuck. Uh, he mentions a member of the royal family. Let us say that. Alan McDuck, we don't know. Nothing has been proven. We should not even ever comment on things like that until it's over. All right. So, you know, don't be going down that road. Take your head out of the gutter and let's see what happens. Who do you prefer, Nicholas Sturgeon or Boris Johnson? Well, I don't know either of them personally. So I can't actually tell you. All I will say is that they are both politicians and that in relationship to Scotland, Nicola Sturgeon has done an excellent job with the pandemic. She's a first-class politician and she's very, very good at representing her country. But as I say, if the nationalists and the Greens go down an anti-monarchist agenda, they might as well kiss themselves bye-bye. I can tell you that right now. And certainly Scottish independents will go. What's your opinions on Alex Belfield? Alex Belfield is a huge YouTube 
start, but he did happen to talk a bit of nonsense about Scotland, and I had to phone him up and put him straight. So there we are, a huge, huge YouTube star. Where were you 20 years ago? 20 years ago, I was on the radio in Scotland. Yes, and uh, you'll see the video on the TikTok videos. Guys, have a good look at the TikTok videos. Join us on YouTube. Join us on Twitter, at Scotty McClue. Follow us on Twitch, Scotty underscore McClue. YouTube.com forward slash user forward slash Scotty McClue one. Start building up all these different social media so that you can follow us. Will you marry my aunt? She's 55. She's recently divorced, and she's looking for a handsome Scotsman. Yes, well, I can do the Scotsman bit, but do I not fall down on the handsome? That would be my concern for your poor aunt. Uh, uh, no, he's not. He didn't sell enough tickets to run the show. Says, well, we don't know that, Coney. So there we are. We don't actually know. I mean, people are wary about going out these nights. There's we, Mrs. Women. I love Roy Chubby Brown. Yes, it's, uh, it's something that you either go for or you don't. Like any good performer, any experienced performer, you know, you have to decide if it's for you. I mean, Scotty McClue isn't everyone's cup of tea, but I used to say it doesn't matter whether you love me or whether you don't, as long as you're watching. And that was it. You see what I mean? Uh, thank you, Maria Knight, for sending a radio. Maria, you're always so appropriate. You knew I would love a radio. That is just tremendous, fantastic. Where are you reading the comments from? They're not on TikTok. Top of the morning to you. Can you not see them? Guys, can you see my comments? Top of the morning, scroll left and right and swipe up and see. Guys, can you all see the comments that I'm reading out? I am still has sent me another 32 TikToks. I am still. I thank you. That's exactly what happened. So there we go. Well, there you go, Connie. Fantastic. He certainly lasted very well because he's in his 70s. You know, and if we can all do, I've done, wait till we see, I'm coming up to about my 40th year in show business. So there you are. Am I? What am I talking about? 44th year. I've been 44 years in show business, including my training. Uh, so there we go. Now, Cooney, I'm going to get you down the swanee because you don't know what you're talking about. There we are. I'm going to ban this wee guy, guys, uh, Coney Island, because he's uh, beginning to troll. He's a troll. So there we are. So we don't want any trolls on here. Uh, now, what have we got here? No, I've just banned him. Let's be serious. Where were you 20 years ago? I'm being serious, I am still. You'll see it on the TikTok videos. Have a look at the one which tells you what I did 20 years ago. The uh, radio phone-ins that most radio stations banned, or didn't ban, but they uh, took down their evening phone-ins uh, on 9-11. And I said to my boss, how ridiculous are these people? This is when the world wants to talk. So I went on live. And we had the most incredible three-hour phone-in. Talking about 9-11, a lady phoned whose son had a meeting at the World Trade Center at 9 o'clock in the morning. He'd been stuck in the metro, the tube, the underground. Yeah, so there it goes. Uh, so I've just banned that Coney guy because he, he's at it. So there we go. Uh, we, Mrs. Women, a quote from a poem. Oh, yes. Yes. Warning about the far right. Absolutely. Yes, indeed. So there we go. The people did vote, uh, but they didn't buy enough. No, Coney's gone. Coney, you've gone. I love you, says uh, Mr. Mr. Man. Mr. Man, I thank you. So there we go. I've got rid of this, Coney, because you're spamming us now. So he's gone. Uh, fantastic. 
Yeah, yeah, he's a baddie. He's a baddie. We're well rid of that. I'm just reading his stuff here. There we go. Fantastic stuff. Nicola won 40% of, of the vote. Uh, my lad, the rest of Scotland wants the Queen gone. No, I don't think so. I think you'll find when it comes to the independence vote, that will be reflected because what's actually happened is 50% of the people have been sidelined. All right. So it's one thing winning a vote at a conference. It's another thing putting it to the people. Scotland's had a monarchy for 2,347 years. There we are. Queen Elizabeth is our sovereign lady. She's our head of state in Scotland, and that will never, ever change. Independence is political. The monarchy is apolitical. So I think the nationalists now need to come clean, say exactly what their plans are, and I think you'll find that will be the rock that independence perishes on. And I'm so sorry about it, because I've seen this coming for years. There we are. So there we have it now. Uh, he's reading the ones already passed. He's behind in the comments. A big shout out from George and Salcoats. Yeah, that troll was doing my head in. Well, he's long gone, we Mrs. Woman. We don't want half-wits like that spoiling TikTok's top talk show. Tremendous stuff. There we go. Cole Bennett, how lovely to have you with us. And a very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue. We're live on TikTok just for you. This is the big one. Now, guys, the new phone-in has started. So get following. Yeah, that troll was doing everybody's head in. I had your back. You did. We misses women. The nation always have my back. And the trolls go doing the swanny. It was also spamming. And you never, ever, ever spam Scotty McClue. That's just uh, one for straight doing the swanny. John Bai, thank you for my likes. Guys, I've got 1,700 1, likes. I usually have 10,000. Can everybody get tap, 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 de tap, tap, de tap, de tap? There we are. You did have my back, wee Mrs. Woman. How good are you? We'll just do a wee bit of tapping and see what happens. <laughs> there we are. Fantastic. Everybody get liking. Liking just means tapping your screen. There we are. He's a troll and he's someone who opposes your view. No, 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 no. He's a troll. Full stop. We never, ever, ever ban anyone for opposing my view. Yes, indeed. So there we are. What nonsense was Alex Belfield talking about Scotland? Uh, he doesn't like us much. No, he was just calling it Nicky Nacky New Land and calling Nicholas Sturgeon Jeanette McCranky. And we don't want any of that kind of nonsense because her title is First Minister. You must respect the office regardless of what you think of the incumbent. That's all they did. They joined the conversation. You didn't like it. They said no. He joined the conversation and made an accusation that was wrong. Then he started spamming. Can you see that? So there you go. And Chelsea, don't you start cheeking up or you'll be doing this one, eh? Yes, dinky do, Scotty. Absolutely, yes. We don't want half-witted idiots spoiling our lives. People enjoy them too much. We have too much fun and laughter. That's why we're on. We're not on. Argy bargy, argy bargy. There we are. And it's not a question of not liking what they said. I don't mind what they say at all. Yep, I will just give you the facts. Have you got it, Chelsea? Are you getting the picture, my dear? There we are, Dinky Do. Absolutely. A very warm welcome, everybody. Lovely to have you with us. You're watching Scotty McClue. Sunday morning, nothing gets past me. And uh, it's just coming up to 23 minutes to midday. Uh, wouldn't a bigger platform for you be YouTube Live rather than TikTok? Yes. I do YouTube live all the time. If you look in beside the bio, there you'll see the YouTube link. So go on there. Because remember, we're now, as of a, about 10 days ago, we've started a live phone-in on YouTube, Twitch, and Facebook, and LinkedIn. So that will just grow and grow and grow. But 
platforms are not mutually exclusive. And we like TikTok because we get a very high standard of person on here. I have missed you, Casp. Lovely to have you with us. Belfield loves Scotland and I love him. He's right to say what he does about Sturgeon Ryan. Yes, you're never right to disrespect our leaders. There we are. OMG, a phone in. I could actually speak to you. That's so cool you can, Casp. So I would suggest tapping the YouTube link, subscribing, tapping the bell, you'll get your notifications. Also follow me on Twitch, Scotty underscore McClue. You speak a lot of sense, my friend. Let it going now. Take care. We, Mrs. Woman, you speak a lot of sense as well. And thank you for getting rid of the idiot. Yes, indeed. Yes, I'll do that. Do that, Casp, because you'll never look back. The phone is outstanding. The big ones are Friday night, Saturday night, 10 o'clock till 11. And then we very often pop up during the week, 9 till 10. So have a look at all of that. And you'll get the number on there as well. Tremendous. Now, uh, but follow me on Twitch. Very important. We get everybody following on Twitch. And guys, follow me here on the TikTok. Don't ever not start supporting and supporting because what you're doing is building a big picture for you. Yeah. And Scotty McClure is right across the internet. I mean, I'm in my 44th year of show business. 30 year, 30th year of late night phone in. You know what I mean? You're very welcome. Keep up the good work. I thank you. We, Mrs. Woman, have a lovely, lovely day and dinky do to you. Scotty is the best. I thank you, Casp. You are the best. Thank you for saying that. Uh, come and join us as soon as you can, guys. We're at uh, 3,000 likes. Can everybody get tap, tap, tapity, tap, tapity, tapity, tap? Come on, tap, tap, tapity, tap, tapity, 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 tap, tapity, 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 tap, tap, tap. I can even do some myself. Uh, Scotty's the master of the phone. Scotty, I love how TikTok has been hijacked by the elder generations. Well, Aidan, I, you see, always attract the younger generations. You know, so that's why I do TikTok, because it introduces Scotty McClue to the next generation. And that's always a good thing. <sighs> good morning, sir. How do you do? Good morning, Nikki's. Lovely to have you with us and welcome. Where are you from, Nikki's? People always should say where they're from on Scottish TikToks. Let us know what is what. I say, good morning, good morning. You'll never hear me say a bad word about Belfield. 99% of the time, he's spot on. He is actually very, very good, Ryan, I have to say. And uh, he's taking no nonsense from Harry and Meghan Markle, I can tell you that. I need to see what time that is in uh, in aid. Where are you, Casp? Say again, and we'll see if we can work it out. Uh, where are you again? Just remind me, Cass. Australia. Yes, in Oz. Absolutely right. Uh, so I'm just thinking we're about reversed. So it'll be something like 10 o'clock in the morning on a Saturday and Sunday. Sorry. Uh, Friday and Saturday, 10 o'clock in the morning, I would think. You can have an opinion, but when you're disrespectful, you lose the moral high ground. Jerry, you're 100% correct. Uh, there we are. Ryan says, what's Nicola Sturgeon done so wrong? She's led us well through the pandemic. Absolutely, Ryan. Ryan, you need to be very careful that you're not politically motivated by um, religion and football teams, stuff like that's nothing to do with the politics, except I will say that if we're going independent, it must be under the crown 100%. And the people that say, yeah, we'll sort that out after independence, they don't seem to realize Her Majesty the Queen has to grant, graciously grant independence through a new Scotland bill. Now, there's no reason she should ever do that if she's not 100% secure uh, that the monarchy uh, will be in perpetuity across Scotland. Scotland, as I say, has perhaps had the oldest monarchy in the world, 2,347 years. So we'll not be changing 
uh, just for people that think that they are more important than the Queen. Yes, indeed, or the Crown, I should say. That's good. Yes, indeed. I'd love, love a belfield McClue collab. Yes, Ryan, uh, it's an idea, isn't it? Uh, well, did you hear the call? Sorry, I missed it this weekend. Don't worry, Casp. Uh, we will be popping up during the week. You'll probably be at work, though, because I would think that it will be something like nine in the morning. But work it out. Get on to Scotty McClue's YouTube channel. And as I say, follow me on Twitch, Scotty underscore McClue. Have a look at the phone in and see if you like it. And you'll get the number. Scotty, I wrote that comment regarding Nicola and replied it to Ryan. Ah, right top of the morning. I've got you. There we are. Too late. Uh, Nicola Sturgeon will never speak for me. Well, she does speak for you, Ryan, because she's the first minister of Scotland. So if you live in Scotland, she's speaking for you. You need to get, it's like the half-wits that go, she's not my queen. The queen is the queen. She's everybody's queen, regardless of your race, your creed, your religion, your background, your colour, whatever. The queen is the queen. That will never, ever change. Yes, people need to realise that. I've never heard anything about Nicholas Sturgeon, so I reckon there's nothing going so bad. Absolutely. No, absolutely fine. The only thing is, I say, we'll just have to monitor the monarchy situation. See so yeah, how that develops opinion of Scottish independence. Economically, I think Scotland could do very well out of Westminster's vice-like clutch. You know, vice-like grip. But um, I am concerned about the monarchical situation because that will never change and uh, that will kick independence into the long grass. Yes, indeed. I'm not working right now, just costing good one cast. Well, uh, you'll maybe be able to get that. There's somebody, John, saying she's no my queen. John, newsflash, she's your queen. So there we are. Get respecting big style. There we are. No, she doesn't. She's not my first minister. No, she's your first minister, Ryan. That will never change until we get another first minister. Okay, okay. Did Donald Dewar speak for you? Did Henry McLeish speak for you? Did Alex Salmond speak for you? You know, that's the thing. So I'm afraid that's what's going on there. Scotty, how many times a day you asked your opinion regarding Scottish independence? Oh, I think we're probably talking 50 times a day. More if we're doing a live phone in. There we are. As an Englander, I wouldn't like Scottish independence. We've had enough division with Brexit. No, Brexit has caused the breakup of the UK. Brexit should never, ever, 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 ever have been allowed. Uh, this country is £350 billion pounds down this money. £250 billion of that will be Brexit. It will try to get passed off as the cost of the pandemic, and that's why there's been a hike in national insurance. But it's for praying for Brexit, the same way we had austerity, old ladies in Scotland selling their wedding ring, the last thing they had, gold, to get pennies to pay their electricity bill, to save the bankers' blushes. Yes, when they lost everything. The bankers lost everything. Do you remember me? And also, can you say, supercalifragilistic expelliarmus? I don't think I can now. Scotty, how are you? Lahoub, lovely to have you with us. And a big dinky do. You are watching Scotty McClure. That's what it's all about. No, she's no. Oh, yes, she is, John. That is your queen, Her Majesty the Queen. So there, just let your head fall forward in the chest. And that's you acknowledging your queen. And she always will be your queen. Uh, we've got her as our queen, absolutely, Casp. Yes, indeed. There we go. The U.S. being how it currently is, and forgotten politics exist elsewhere. Very refreshing, Nikis. Very good to have you with us. Of course, we follow U.S. politics. It seems the consensus is the United States would love the Donald back. Uncle Joe Biden doesn't seem to be doing his stuff. So there we go. So they're talking about wanting the Donald back. She hasn't done anything wrong to us. The Queen never, ever will put a foot wrong.
Brexit's the worst thing that's happened in a long, long time. Now, who I would say Brexit probably is the biggest act of self-harm since the First World War. But as yet, we haven't quite seen the fallout and the casualties. You know, free Palestine, yes, indeed, and free Israel. We've got to balance on here. It's been a worry for the rest of us, too. Absolutely. There we go. Dinky do, Scotty. Lockdown announced for October. Do you think so? I reckon Donald's a chance, and a chance if the right didn't happen in the capital. No chance now. Now, let me just tell you about this. I had a look at all of that. That was blamed on Donald. But I don't think he was behind that. And uh, I'll tell you why, because the mainstream media in America is very powerful. And a lot of them were very sharply angled against the Donald. So let's strip out the propaganda and just look at what the Donald has done and what he has achieved and what he says. Yeah, I'm, I'm just putting the facts to you. Uh, there we are. We don't know. We don't know, Cass, so we'll not jump on that at the moment. Edinburgh Derby today, hearts or hips to win. Both excellent teams. May the best team win, I say. There we are. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Dink Heater. This is my story. This is my song. Unfortunately, in the US, propaganda wins. I understand this as well. It wasn't his fault. I think so, yes. As a president, he was spectacular. Personally, I'd not have breakfast with him. Well, there we are. Well, no, the only criticism I've got of the Donald, I'm not too impressed with his taste in interior decoration. <laughs> I think he could have done more to dissuade the riot at the Capitol. Yes, well, he certainly didn't do anything to encourage it because that's not what he would have done. And a lot of people tried to swing the blame round. What do you think of Nicola Sturgeon Scotty? Well, she's an outstanding politician. She's done a wonderful job in Scotland with the pandemic. So we'll see how things go. Absolutely. Uh, now, Maria Knight, thank you so much for joining us back again. And we've only got another five minutes, guys, then I'm going to have to go. But if you can get following on uh, TikTok here, just follow me. It's only a little click, a plus top left hand. Get following. Donald spoke the truth and mainstream media do not like the truth. Well, they like to see if they can skew the truth. I think, um, oh, for goodness sake, Aiden, where did you get that from? <laughs> what nonsense. There we are. Right, uh, Maria, thank you very much for sending me these likes. You're very kind. I've got 5,300 likes, guys. That's every one of you. Tap, 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 tap. Very good of you. Uh, there we are. What are you talking about, says Lahoop? What should have been? Oh, well, we're not going to that. Uh, so there we are. Top of the morning to you. We don't discuss the pandemic because mainstream media have got that. All right. Scotty McClure is about lightheartedness and joy. Yes, indeed. So we'll not go into all that stuff. The fact that Democrats control the media here can make our politics quite one-sided. Well, why don't you get the Republican media up and running? Yes, I mean, I'll tell you when government's at its best with a very, very strong opposition nipping at its heels. And it's the same with the media. The media are at its best when the opposition are right in there. I can remember being right in the eye of a storm between two rival newspapers in the days when people read newspapers hugely. And boy, it was that interesting, I can tell you. But even then, they've turned on President Biden. Yes, well, I think he's not delivering. And I think that's what I... Donald was a deliverer, you see. Uh, so there you are. So I think, yes, I think that'll get worse now. I think that uh, uh, poor old Joel will get a rough ride now. You know, I mean, I'm sure he's the genuine article. I'm only joining the conspiracy club. Yeah, well, that's a very dodgy club, Aiden, because there's no facts to back it up. You know, I mean, even then, yes, absolutely, Joey, fantastic. 
Uh, three more minutes, everybody, of Scotty McClure, live on TikTok, just for you saying dinky do on this wonderful Sunday morning. Start to get involved in the Scotty McClure phone in. YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, LinkedIn. All right. Do you think Glasgow will cope with COP26? I'm sure Glasgow will cope amazingly. Glasgow coped with the festival city in the 1980s. Just tremendous. Glasgow has coped with all sorts of huge festivals. Glasgow's a fantastic city. But it'll be very interesting because some of the greens aren't as green as they are cabbage looking. And all these big um, windmills and things are making a terrible mess of the green belt. Probably putting electricity into the ground. We need to look at all that as well. Where are they actually being built and manufactured? You know, so we've we've got to look at that as well. Electricity is man's silent servant, you know, and if you get rid of all the fossil fuels, you know, I see, for instance, I don't think we should get rid of the coal-fired power stations. I think we should have kept them in abeyance, mothballed them, you know, in case we need to go back. I mean, there's about a thousand years of coal, oil and gas still to go. Dinky do good, man. And remember, if we're into wind power, Shouldn't we be paying far, far less for our lecky? Yay. That's what I say. Dinky do, good man. Captain Brucey, dinky do. And La Hoop, dinky do. Fantastic. Yeah, COP26 will be massive in Glasgow. Very, very interesting. I can tell you. Toby's just joined us. Dinky do, Toby. Lovely to have you with us. You're watching Scotty McClue, and we're live on the big one. TikTok. Can everybody start seriously following? It's not a lot to ask. You just need to tap the plus sign. Also, have a good look at all the TikTok videos. You'll get a smile. And uh, share and share and share the lives. You know what I mean? If Scotty McClure is popping up to talk to you, then come and share the lives. There's a maths boy who's just had a wee accident. There you are. You go and sort yourself out, maths boy. That's the stuff. Dinky do, everybody. This is Scotty McClure saying, have a wonderful day. Enjoy being you. It's a beautiful thing to be. Scotty, I hope you have a good Sunday. I thank you, Barbara. Lovely to have you with us in Dinky do. Scotty, uh, what do we got here? Sorry, Scotty. I'm after Lahub 10. All right, I've got you, Lahoop, yes. Fantastic. You've been at the tap, 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 tap. I didn't follow what you were saying there. I thought somebody had hacked your account. Uh, right, have a gorgeous, gorgeous day, and we will catch up soon. Go and explore the Scotty McClue phone in. Follow me on Twitch, Scotty underscore McClue. Get on to the YouTube channel and start subscribing big time. Tap the bell so you get your notifications when the phone-in goes live. And also you can follow me on Facebook. You can follow me on Reddit, Scotty underscore McClue on Reddit. Get on to that as well. Follow me on Twitter, at Scotty McClue. And we'll catch up. Thank you for this morning. I've fairly enjoyed your company. And I'll tell you this, Jerry Clem, I have fair enjoyed yours. As we say in the best of circles, dinky-doo and ta lads.